Welcome to Healing Hearts, where stories bring solace and lessons to light. Today, we delve into a tale that resonates with the challenges many face feeling unloved, neglected, and trapped in limited choices. Our story unfolds in a small neglected patch, but within its confines, we discover the transformative power of caring, constructive actions, and the beauty that arises when children unite for a common good. Join us on this journey of love, tenderness, and the profound impact one person can make. Let's explore the therapeutic characteristics that pave the way for healing. Tending to the neglected. There's a busy street corner near a bus station where kids change buses for school. It's not a pretty place. The traffic is loud, and the buildings nearby are gray and not cared for. But in this not-so-nice spot, there's a small garden called Pete's Patch, named after Pete, who created it in just nine and a half minutes. Pete is one of the kids who spends nine and a half minutes here every day, waiting to change buses. It's not a fun place. Noisy and smelling of gas fumes. The land next to the station is filled with trash. Once maybe a garden, now an eyesore. People threw empty drink cans, burger wrappings, and chicken boxes there. Graffiti covered the walls. It wasn't a pleasant spot for those brief moments every school day when Pete just wanted to get home. But he didn't have a choice. It was the only way home. Feeling like he was wasting his time, Pete decided to change things. He couldn't alter the bus schedule, but he could make those nine and a half minutes more enjoyable. With plastic trash bags and gardening gloves from mom, Pete spent each day picking up the trash. Are you crazy? Teased his schoolmates. Why waste your time? They didn't understand that sitting doing nothing was an even bigger waste for Pete. On the weekend, he had his dad collect the bags and take them to the dump. When Monday came, Pete's patch looked cleaner and nicer. The next week, Pete decided to pull out the weeds around the old plants hidden behind the rubbish. A friend, just as bored with those nine and a half minutes, came to help. Over the weekend, Pete's mom and dad collected the new bags, trimmed old rose bushes, and offered suggestions. The patch was looking good, but the dirty words on the walls bothered Pete. He asked his dad for advice. What would you like to do? His dad asked. Pete had an idea. He started saving his pocket money, got permission from the building owner through his dad, and went to the hardware store. With all his savings, he bought cans of spray paint. First, he sketched a mural in chalk, covering the graffiti. When he used the spray paint, more friends joined in for those nine and a half minutes. Now, a bunch of kids takes pride in the patch. They water the roses, plant flowers, and even set up an old swing. They keep it clean and tidy. Sometimes you might even see an adult swinging among the roses. But one Monday, as Pete rode the bus to school, he saw a surprise. Something had changed in the patch. His friends had painted a sign, and it read, Pete's Patch. As we conclude this healing story, let its essence linger. A reminder that even in the smallest acts, we can nurture love and tend to the neglected corners of our lives. The tale speaks not only of personal transformation, but also of the collective power of children working together for good. May it inspire you to bring beauty into your world and recognize the profound impact you can have. Subscribe for more tales that touch the heart and bring healing. Until next time, this is Healing Hearts signing off. Take care, spread love, and keep those hearts healing.